That's three. That's three. Let's get to one, two, three. Yeah. I, uh, a little story. So I did a play in college, Hot Hell Baltimore. It's, uh, wow, I don't remember who wrote it. It was uh, Robert Grinier or something. Uh, it's supposed to be Hotel Baltimore. He burned out on the sign, get it, Hot Hell Baltimore. It's a place, place of life play. I'm not going to bore you the details, but I played a drug dealer. And it was the one and only time I employed uh, method acting. Because it is, I now passed a legal statute, which I admit that I did. And you, fact, you sold drugs just to get in character? <laughs> yeah. That's not what I was going to say, extreme, but man. Not, you know what? That just made my story cooler. I can't disagree with you. Yeah, dude. I was out hooking crap rock <laughs> on the basketball courts in Geneseo. <laughs> and the, the frozen tundra was filled with my ice. Because you were making it pale? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't go to drug dealer college. I don't know how this works. Yes, sir. Uh, Bob, I, I'm Tony Collier, and I hope to me your final. I'm a little bit disappointed. Sir? Well, it clearly says here, uh, when choosing between bros and hoes, you chose hoes. <laughs> I'm afraid, I mean, you have a 50% chance of getting right, but you're not going to get that wrong. Sir, I was always raised to treat women with respect. <laughs> we failed. I blame myself. See? See. <laughs> the bonus of drug dealer college. <laughs> it's on the other deal. So what did you actually do? Um, what I was going to admit to was I may have imbibed some certain green substances in college, uh, and I used no. muscle oil. What? It's, you know, it's been over seven years, so can't prosecute me. Anyway, um, but so every night, like I actually really loved myself in this role, but every night, I would sit right off stage right before I came on, and I would pantomime, like, the entire process of, like, preparing the process of processing the, the marijuana. Um, and then I would go out and be, like, picking a character. That's the story. You know, you've seen there. I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I feel, the, feel the love here. So you can actually get high by pretending to be high. Uh, that's a gift. I know. <laughs> I know. That would, that would save you our um, money. <laughs> you know, the jacket, the whole jacket first guy would have really well off the down too. But that was like Brando. Marlon Brando? Yes, I. I Method actor? No, I meant Steve Brando. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, we don't talk about Steve. Well, he and Marlon have a big fall now. You don't know about this? Of course I know about this. Because I'm making it up. Liar. <laughs> no, it went something like this. <laughs> Steve. 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 Come in, Steve. Ask me to give you a job. 
and I do this thing for you. It's very nice. It was very gracious, gracious of you. I know. Uh, and what did I tell you? I told you. One day, that day may never come, but it did. I was going to ask you a little favor. You let me down, Steve. I'm, I'm not going to let you sleep with my wife. <laughs> it's simple advice. Marlon, no. That's, that's horrible. Why would you even want to do that? Steve, yes. We're, we're brothers. That's just gross. What, what's gross about it? It's my wife, Steve. I mean, Marlon. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you do me so well! <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs>